This morning on Get Out Alive, how to escape a sinking car. On any given day, you probably travel over a bridge or maybe along the side of the water. But what if your car tumbled into the water? Would you know how to survive? Well, our own Jenna Wolf experienced this and found out it is a lot more difficult than you think to get out of that car. Good morning, Meredith. Good morning, and this Jenna. is actually most people's worst nightmare. You were just saying this is something that terrified you. And it can happen in a second. You're driving down the road, a bridge collapses, you swerve off the road into a body of water, suddenly you find your car sinking. Once your car is submerged, you may only have a matter of seconds to get out alive. For 32-year-old Carla Gutierrez, it started as a simple drive home, but ended in terror. Carla's car had skidded off this Florida highway into a canal. As it sank, she frantically called 911. Oh my God! Oh my God! I'm Can you open a window to get out? Hello. Oh my God! Paralyzed with panic. Carla drowned inside her sinking car. One of 300 people killed every year when their vehicles go off the road into water. When water is involved, all the things that you do instinctually to survive are going to get you killed. To find out how to escape a sinking car, I went to Survival Systems USA, where instructor Rich Martin uses this simulator to teach people how to get out alive. I gotta be honest, I was really excited about this and now the nerves are building up. Ah, I'm actually getting really nervous. So with my helmet on, seatbelt fastened and rescue divers in position, I was dropped into the pool, shutting my eyes to simulate being in dark water. My first instinct, get out through the car door. But water pressure makes that nearly impossible when the vehicle is half in, half out of the water. To open that door, Martin says I would have to wait until the car fills with water. You should keep your hand on the door handle as the car is filling up with water and keep trying to open it. As soon as that pressure equalizes enough, you'll be able to open the exit and get out. But in real world accidents, finding that exit may not be so easy. If you're rolled upside down, you're flipped upside down in dark, murky, possibly cold water, all of those things are going to disorient you. And I was about to find out how scary that could be. This time, as the simulator sank, it actually flipped over. Inside, I immediately panicked. Because I took my belt off, I was thrown upside down and lost all sense of direction. Had the divers not come to my rescue, I may not have made it out alive. I didn't know where I was. Water gets in my nose. I couldn't breathe. I got very nervous. It's absolutely terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Martin says the best way out of a sinking car is actually through a window. It may go against all your instincts, but the moment your car hits the water... The first thing you should do immediately is open the window, or open all the windows if you possibly can. Even underwater, power windows can still operate. To see what a difference that can make, I was submerged with my window open. Martin told me to grab my window frame and keep my seatbelt on for stabilization. This time, as the car flipped, I stayed in my seat and knew exactly where the exit was. Once the vehicle settled, I undid my belt and swam out. Simple steps that literally saved my life. Knowing what to do, knowing to hold onto the windowsill and to be calm, and then to take my seatbelt off and knowing where my frame of reference was, it is all the difference. It's the matter of surviving and not surviving. And once again, just to recap, the first thing you want to do is get that window down. Automated windows will still work underwater. Hold on to that window cell and then try to that swim out. That was so frightening, that video. Very, very scary. It was. It's, ter it's terrifying. What if you cannot open the window? You try, but you still can't open it. Okay, if you can't open it, there's actually a little device that worked out really well. It's a little <laughs> device called the Rescue Me. It actually clips onto your keychain. And we're going to show you what this device is going to do and how this works. Um, it's an escape tool. We want to thank the fine folks at Big Auto Apple for lending us this car in East car New York, you're going to ruin now. Okay. That I'm about to destroy. Okay, so watch. I'm going to get in my car here. This, again, Wait on a your keychain, it's small. I actually have, have my own. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know if you were going to go across the street or stay here, so I got uh, you a pair all right, also. I'll, uh... So I'm going to put on my safety goggles, and I'm going to put on a glove. So now your car is submerged underwater. You only have a few seconds here, but this is right near you. So I'm going to take this. And... Oh, boy, let's hope this works. You go against the corner of your window. Here it goes again. Oh, Whoa. okay. I cannot believe I just did that. Did you see what I just did? So anyway, wow. 
So here you are. I hope I get a pay raise. And then you and go then right you through. And then you just swim right out of the window. And where do you get that little tool? This you can get online or you can get at a hardware store for $10. Okay, definitely so worth having to save your life. Jenna yes. Wolf, thank you so much. I'm going to go take a spit and Yeah, get out of the later. car. Okay. Stay dry. <laughs> thank you. We'll be right back after this. Whoa.